you hear them going from one place to another and looking for beds, and there's been people that haven't been able to find places. The temperature in Montreal is currently minus two, and while it's feeling manageable as of Thursday morning, come tonight, that all will change. The city will see the mercury drop to minus 35 with the wind chill and an extreme cold warning in effect from Environment Canada. It could feel like minus 40 come Friday morning, leaving shelters like the old brewery mission here, bracing themselves for a polar vortex and keeping the city's unhoused safe and warm. Even though uh, there's more than 100 and uh, 1,600 places open in Montreal, they're not fit for everybody. Some of them have restrictions, some of them are for women only, so there's still a population that has nowhere to go. Montreal has opened two emergency overnight shelters, one downtown and one in the plateau, from 8 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning until Sunday, when the cold is expected to end. But Marie-Pierre says it's simply not enough to ensure the safety of those unhoused. We do know that the need was there way before, uh, so we shouldn't be surprised. And, and as we always like to say, like um, homelessness is not a seasonal phenomenon. With the, the winter that we have here, nobody wants to spend the night outside. We're trying to tell people limit your time outdoors, right? If you're an outdoor worker, we're saying come in every few minutes and warm up, but some people just can't do that. So getting people that have no shelter and no homes inside and for a prolonged period of time, not just inside for a few hours, really need to have people inside for the majority of the winter, especially with these dangerous wind chills that are coming our way. With wind chill dropping to minus 35 overnight, Ram Sahai warns frostbite can occur after 10 to 30 minutes of being outside. I mean, people are dying in the winter time because of the cold. People are dying, are, are sleeping in construction sites because they think it's warm in there. It's not warm. For this Montrealer staying at the shelter, he says Montreal needs to invest in long-term solutions rather than short-term solutions every year. They promise lots of things, but they don't promise shelters for the homeless. They promise subsidized housing. And while the shelter will be doing their best to help those in need, they ask Montrealers to do their part in keeping an eye out for those most vulnerable. If they see someone and that person seems unconscious, especially this is a case where you call 911, uh, you don't want to wait and we not, don't want to see anybody uh, freezing to death this weekend. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.